Hello everyone. Today we're going to learn how to prepare sterile ampicillin stock solution. If you're watching this, you probably already know that ampicillin is one of the most common selection antibiotics. Although ampicillin is a powder, it's much more convenient to use as an aqueous solution, so we typically store frozen aliquots or portions of ampicillin at a concentration of either 100 or 200 milligrams per milliliter. So, to start, first we're going to remove our ampicillin from the refrigerator. It's stored at between 2 and 8 degrees Celsius. Um, when you remove something from the refrigerator, before opening it, make sure that you allow it to warm to room temperature so that water doesn't condense into the powder and then cause it to degrade faster when you put it back in storage. So I took that out, I weighed out 2 grams of ampicillin powder, and now I'm going to add water to that. So we're not working sterile yet, even though I have the flame going. Um, so I'm going to add millicue water to this. I'll add about to a volume of roughly 9 mils. So remember, I've, I've measured out 2 grams of ampicillin powder here. Uh, so to make a 200 milligrams per milliliter solution, I'm going to want to adjust this to a final volume of 10, of 10 mils. Okay. So I'm going to rock that back and forth. It's worth noting that I've actually I've weighed out my ampicillin directly into the tube where I'm going to measure out the volume. That's because ampicillin actually gets kind of sticky, as you can see there. So um, if you weigh this out into a weigh boat and then try to rinse it into your tube, you might end up with some transfer losses. So anyways, I'm going to keep shaking that, and eventually we will have a solution that is completely dissolved, like so. Okay. We're going to want to dilute that to a final volume of 10 mils. So we've actually determined by comparing our volumes in these two masses using the uh, uh, an analytical balance that these 15 mil conicals are fairly accurate. So I think you can get away with this. All right, and to the bottom of the meniscus, 10 mils. Again, I'll rock that back and forth a couple times just to make sure that the it's completely homogenized. Okay, so I'll set that aside. Um, now I'm going to want to pull out two mil tubes uh, that I'm going to freeze this stock solution in. So remember, when you freeze water, it expands. So we're actually going to need more than five, mil, five two mil tubes. I'm going to pull out uh, seven. So I'm going to spray my hands with some 70% ethanol, and I'll actually dry wash them. I'm going to do that back here because I'm about to put them into this beaker, which has been autoclaved. Um, that's sterile in there. So I'm going to pull out some 2 mil tubes, sterile 2 mil tubes. Keep that nice and close to the flame. It's one, two, three, four, five. All right, I guess I need two more. And as soon as I've gotten those, I want to uh, the tin foil back on there so we don't get dust or any other sort of contaminants in our tubes. Okay. So when I'm finished, I'm actually going to go ahead and label all of these um, AMP 200. I'll just do that now for one of them. So you'll actually see this notation on many of the stock solution tubes in the labs. So you'll see AMP 200, AMP 100, um, TET 5, CAM 35, etc. So this means ampicillin 200 milligrams per milliliter. We just leave off the units for brevity, but if you see that around the lab, that's what that means. Okay, so now I have a, uh, a non-sterile syringe here. It doesn't need to be sterile because I'm going to pass this through a sterile filter. So you want to pinch the filter and then pull back the blister pack, insert the syringe into the filter, twist firmly but not too hard, otherwise you'll strip out those threads in the lure lock. Now I'll uh, pull out the plunger, set that aside, and then um, I will drop that cap aside, and then I'll just pour my ampicillin solution into the syringe. Oh, there we go. Okay. So now. I'm going to hold the end of this in one of these tubes while I insert the plunger. 
and I'll fill each one of these tubes with about 1.5 or so. Uh, oh, lost some. With about 1.5 or so mils of the ampicillin stock. That way, when they freeze, they have some room to expand. And it looks like my last aliquot's gonna be a little bit smaller, but that's fine. There we go, and that's the last of it. Okay, so um, after this, I'm gonna label the rest of these Amp 200, and I'm gonna toss them in the freezer. Uh, we keep our ampicillin stocks in a box like this. It's in the back of the minus 20, small minus 20 freezer on the top shelf. And with that, I'll head out. Thank you for watching. Bye.